Hey guys, so look, lots of us use plasma cutters, all right? Now some of you guys have plasma tables, that's awesome. You can sit there with the mouse, design it, click, boom, it does it for you. The rest of us, we're freehanding it. Now we gotta use templates, we gotta use different things. There's lots of different ways to get your design the way you want it. Now I'm gonna show you one of the ways that I use to cut circles. First thing I start with is a piece of pipe that fits right over the plasma tip, okay? You don't want it too tight, you don't want it sloppy. So just find something it's about right, okay? What we're gonna do with this is we're gonna cut this piece of pipe and make this little guide right here. That's what's gonna help you make these nice circles. The first thing I do is measure the tip. Now it's gonna stop here at the collar. So from the collar down to the tip of the plasma cutter is one inch. Now, I'm gonna stop the collar at three quarters. Now the reason I'm doing that is so that if I wanted to, I could actually see what I'm cutting. If it's all the way down here, I'm never gonna see what's going on and it could get caught up on the slag. Now that we've cut our collar, what we're gonna do is actually take a reaming bit and deburr all the stuff on the inside so it's not gonna get hung up when it goes around. All right, next we're gonna use a piece of eighth inch rod. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bend a 90 on this and then I'm gonna cut it off with just a pair of bolt cutters. Now I'll take this over to the table grinder and go ahead and put a point on one of these. Now we don't want a sharp point, just kind of a dull point, that way it stays centered. Now that I've taken and put the point on the eighth inch rod, at this time, we're gonna figure out that we wanna make a three inch circle. So we're gonna need an inch and a half from the point to the center of the plasma cutter. So we're gonna sit down and figure this out and then we'll weld it on. Okay, now I've taken the collar and I've marked a spot on it that's gonna allow the pin to be exactly a half inch below the ring. What this comes out to is it's gonna keep the tip about an eighth inch off the steel. The reason I'm doing that is I don't have a drag tip, so I actually have to hover right above the metal when I cut. So, we're gonna take this, weld this into place, and we got a new collar. The great thing about these, they cost really nothing to make, and you can take and have as many as you want, so you can have them to cut a one inch hole, a two inch hole, a three inch hole, whatever you want, just by spacing that pin farther and farther away from the actual center of the plasma cutter. Now with these, you gotta make sure you keep going nice and steady on it, that way your plasma cutter doesn't stop and blow out areas. You want a nice, clean cut. Okay, so you gotta figure out your timing. Now, if you wanna make a nicer version of this, you take a sealed bearing that fits right over the cup of the plasma cutter and weld your uh, pins off of it. That way that bearing just lets it spin right around. So, if you got access to the bearings, go for it. It'll make life a lot easier. Now, I've got a piece of scrap metal here. I'm gonna go ahead and mark center. Then we're gonna go ahead and drill a pilot hole. Now we're gonna take the collar, slip over the plasma. Now, you can try to do this one-handed. It can be done moving around, but if you want a nice steady one, you're gonna twist it with your hand so you can keep it nice and smooth. Well, there you go. I mean, that's way better than I could ever could have freehanded. Now, just by moving the pin, you can end up with circles of any size that you need. So, 
Hopefully this helps you guys. A little trick I use. Hopefully it helps you out on your projects. All right guys, see you on the next one.